Hello, uh, this market's breaking down a little bit here today. Um, it's actually Tuesday, and uh, what I just did was purchase some of the SDS, which is the inverse, uh, double inverse ETF that mimics the action of the S&P 500. You can see here that the spiders have had a good day today so far. They're, right now, they're still up a dollar and a half, or up 1.1%. Um, we had a strong open this morning and a real nice uptrend in here as it made higher highs and higher lows and stayed above that daily VWAP. Uh, but the market came down through it. That VWAP kind of flattened out. Now the VWAP looks like it's heading lower. And what I decided to do was to take a uh, take advantage of it uh, right in here. I just sold short, or I, so uh, effectively sold short by purchasing uh, a thousand of these uh, SDS. That's the again, that's the um, inverse uh, S&P 500. So if we look at the SDS uh, chart, you're going to see the opposite here, which is you're going to see the uh, see the action showing that uh, it's it's back to the upside in here. So we saw uh, a volume rally in the SDS followed by low volume in here and now another volume thrust higher again. I prefer to look at the SPY um, when, it, when I trade uh, any of the uh, you know either or the SSO which is a double uh, long fund for the spiders or when I trade the SDS, uh, it's just kind of how I'm used to looking at it. But anyways, you can see here I purchased a thousand uh, of the SDS at 62, 65, uh, 65, and looking at the level two right now, you can see where we are, which is uh, 62.83 by 62.85. What I'm going to do here in a moment is sell half this position. These things can move very quickly. Uh, you can see the s and is breaking down a little bit further right now, so this SP SDS is rallying. And uh, kind of what I'm thinking as a potential price target is maybe the two-day VWAP down here. Now, I, I'm not likely to hold the entire position. Again, these things move quickly, and uh, it, you know the trend is higher on the day. The, the, the spiders are up more than 1% right now, but when we look at the daily picture, you know, the market's been rallying on light volume in the last few days. It's kind of at the conjunction of this 10 and 20 day moving average. And uh, we've got a little bit further deterioration in the in there. So what I'm going to do is offer out 500 shares at 62.90. You can see that order's live in my order book. And uh, let's see, you know, let's see if I get a fill here. If someone, uh, what I'm doing is putting out a passive order. In other words, I'm waiting for liquidity to come to me rather than hitting the bid. So when you do that uh, on Archipelago, for instance, is the uh, the ECN that I'm using. Um, it's known as adding liquidity to the market, whereas removing liquidity is a more aggressive order where I might sell to the bid. And uh, right now I'm kind of wishing that I had sold to the bid and not waited for that extra two cents. Uh, but I'm not going to get freaked out about it. I'm, I'm going to look at this and say, you know, it is a short-term scalp trade. So, um, you know, when we look at this level that's been VWAP in here, just even using regular uh, traditional support and resistance, we had resistance at 135.60. It did act as support in here and then broke down. Then once that support level broke, it did act as resistance, and it broke down on increase in volume. And then the, it was tested on lighter volume. So it shows that the sellers are gaining control here later in the day. And uh, let's see, if, did I get filled? No, I didn't get filled. But this, the spiders are breaking back down a little bit. So um, I'm going to cancel that order because since I've held it here for this little consolidation, there might be another uh, little short-term drop that maybe I can get another 10 or 15 cents out of. Or I may just decide to uh, sell half of it at the bid here and lock in, you know, 100 bucks if I get filled at 62.85. Um, you can see that. Uh, let's see. It looks like it looks like maybe we're getting weak again. One thing that concerns me about being short the market right now is the advanced decline. The uh, right, you know, and here's one of the things I look at is the advanced decline right here. There's 2,150 stocks up and only 980 down. That's generally not the best time to be short the market. So I'm going to go in at 90 cents. You can see I'm going to, I've loaded, well, you know what, I'll, I'll go in at 93 just to, uh, there, and you can see I got filled at 94 cents. So that's a, you know, short term. Uh, what I've done is eliminate the risk in this position. Right now, the way I view it is, if the market runs back to, uh, you know, about, probably 35 40 or so 
then I'll probably get out near a break even on the, on this trade. I've eliminated the risk from the position right now. So uh, it's time to, you know, sit back and, and maybe let the market work for me a little bit. Perhaps we could get uh, some deeper selling. I see that the NASDAQ futures have just gone negative for the day, and that's this box right here. They're down 25, down 50. Uh, three quarters of a point. So the market's deteriorating again. The uh, you know, and even the advanced decliners. It was just a moment ago. It was 21.55. Now it's 21.20. So we are seeing a little bit of deterioration. It doesn't look like anything real serious is going to happen. But uh, it never, never does at the beginning of a move lower. So um, I'll just uh, put this on pause right now and then come back. And uh, if anything interesting develops here, then I'll update that. Okay, we're getting a little more action, so I figured I'd turn it back on. I'm still short 500 share, or you know, I'm long 500 shares of the SDS, which in effect is uh, the equivalent of being short uh, a thousand spiders right now because they move twice the percentage amount. So when the spiders drop one percent, the SDS in theory is supposed to rise two percent. So you get some leverage built in here and the opportunity to trade long to get short exposure. So this is a great opportunity to sell short also in uh, retirement accounts. Um, the market, as you can see, we've got a, uh, you know, I've got the level two up here basically because that's where I enter my orders. I'm not paying any attention to you know, the size of the offers or the size of the bids, and you know, especially uh, on a market product where it's really irrelevant. Someone can go in there and offer, you know, 100,000 shares if they want. They'll just get gobbled right up because of the massive liquidity. So I just use that as a convenient way to change price. If I want to hit the bid, I just click on it and it'll go to my limit price. Or if I want to, you know, change uh, to a market order in here, I've got all my order entry tools in there uh, as well. So uh, we are getting some further deterioration in the market overall. Right now we've got 2,075 stocks that are up on the day versus 10,049. Uh, so some of the uh, market components are deteriorating. The NASDAQ is still hanging around just that, uh, you know, down uh, a point or so level to break even. It's trying to, to it's struggling in there. And these uh, and this spiders are uh, still, you know, looking like they're recovering a little bit in here right now. And uh, I'm going to consider the possibility of maybe uh, covering the rest of this position right now. Again, because we are in an up market, and uh, that basically means that by being short, I'm fighting uh, the the net price change of the day. However, when you clean this up again, you can see that the average price that people are paying for the, for the market today ha is deteriorating, and that's you know positive for the short side. But what what I don't like to see, obviously, is price moving against me. And let me get this uh, level two and order book back, and you can see that. Uh, um, you know, up down to 6280 right now. So while I was just not really paying attention, uh, that 500 shares just uh, dropped 20 cents or $100. My price again is uh, 6265. Uh, I locked in half of my gains, uh, you know, core, uh, 25 cents or $125 here in the first eight minutes of the trade. And I'm trying to be a little bit more patient with this right now. Uh, but that, that big volume, that big bar right there, I think that I'm gonna give it just another uh, moment or two uh, to, to work for me. One, 135.40 is my absolute cutoff point for the uh, S&P 500. If, they, if the spiders can get back up to there, then I'll just go to a market order and sell the remaining position. Um, but again, I'm trying to be a little bit patient with this and hopefully it can develop into something that, you know, at least test this prior low. And then you could look at this as a, uh, a, an inverted cup and handle, or you could go directly to the SDS and see that we've got, uh, this, uh, cup and handle developing here. I mean, this is something that, uh, you know, a lot of people get excited about is these cups and handles. And, uh, you know, basically we have what I talk about a lot, which is, the more times a level is tested, the supply weakens there, and uh, so we've got we've got buyers of the SDS getting more aggressive price-wise here because of the higher uh, low that we see this at, and we've also see them uh, getting more aggressive time-wise because the, the 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 time it takes to test that level of resistance is, is be, become shorter and shorter in between. So buyers are getting or buyers are getting more aggressive 
of the SDS price-wise with the higher lows and time-wise because they're not waiting as long to go in, go in and uh, take a look at the market uh, from from a, uh, a bearish standpoint, uh, you know, create that bearish standpoint. I don't even know if what I just said makes sense. Um, so anyways, the point is uh, I've got my worst case scenario in there. Hopefully it can come down, break below this 135 level, and then maybe it can go on to uh, give up the, the gains for the day even, and uh, or at least come down and close this gap down near 134.50. Uh, or sorry, close the gap down here near 134 and, and change, a, you know, the lows for the day. If it hits new lows for the day, that would be very bullish for this. Um, and now we're at my point. Uh, is, is this not updating? What's going on here? SDS. Looks like uh, maybe. Oh, look at that. So it, it violated my point where I said that I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to give it just another moment here because I wasn't paying attention at that point. But I'm going to I, I'm going to go down to uh, and why is that all grayed out? Anyway, my order box is grayed out. I don't like the way that looks. I'm going to just try and sell it. So I, the, the order went live at 67 cents, and uh, now I'm. Uh, what the heck is going on? Oh, it's because it's got this bid offer thing clicked. Um, so I'm just going to sell it at the market because I don't want to allow this to turn into a losing position. So I got filled at 58 cents, which is a terrible fill um, and actually a terrible trade. I, I, I was talking too much and not paying attention to the trade. But still, uh, on this trade that, uh, you know, I, I initiated at uh, uh, 28 after, less than 20 minutes so I lost seven cents on 500 shares or 35 bucks and I made uh, 30 cents or $150 so net $115 using the SDS and, and again it's it, you know it's against the trend this trade is against the trend of the last uh, couple days and I was looking for a late day breakdown but uh, again uh, you have to be disciplined and uh, that's why I always like to take partial profits that way even when I'm you know talking and this thing turns into taking a loss on the second half which really shouldn't have happened but uh, uh, I'm, in other words I, I, it happened and I'm not making excuses it's just I'm disappointed in myself for allowing it to get to a losing point my idea was that that 135.40 was going to be my absolute cutoff point and that's about where it would have gotten out of the rest of that uh, position at break even. So um, it's, you know, no trade's going to be perfect and you have to be able to plan your trade and trade to plan, as they say. Um, I didn't, I planned the trade, but I didn't uh, trade it, a, you know, the way I like to. So um, for now, that's going to do it. Uh, I'll try to do more of these intraday trades. I've got to figure out a way to do it without it uh, being as, uh, uh, as much of a distraction to the actual trading process, though.